A Zulu praise singer in pursuit of diviner and a traditional calabash marked the beginning of another adventure for Kingsley Holgate. He is considered Africa's modern-day explorer, and for good reason. He has circumnavigated the Makhari Khari salt pans in Botswana and the world's largest desert lake, Takana, in northern Kenya. He's traveled from Cape to Cairo on Africa's waterways and negotiated the length of the great Zambezi River. Interrogated by UNITA, kept under surveillance by Tutsis, this is Kingsley Holgate's life. We're not um, conquerors, we're not imperialists. We feel, we see ourselves as Africans trying to know more about this wonderful continent. Africa is indeed the life of my choice. As a family, we've traveled on foot by ox wagon, land rover and inflatable boat, and spent over a decade following in the footsteps of the great missionary explorer, Dr. David Livingston. We've carried a Zulu calabash of seawater from Shinde at the mouth of the Zambezi all the way to the source of the Great River in northwestern Zambia. We shared the beauty of the river with local tribespeople and they introduced us to the rhythm of their ancient cultures. The crocodiles, elephant and hippo, the incredible sunsets, the timeless river and the beauty of the Victoria Falls. It's no wonder that David Livingston in his journal wrote that this was the most incredible sight he'd ever witnessed in Africa. Angels, he said, must have paused in their flight to gaze upon such splendor. As I continue to scribble in the old expedition journal, it's no wonder that some call me the greybeard of adventure. But fortunately, there have been some other wonderful expeditions. Even a world first circumnavigation of the globe by land, following the Tropic of Capricorn through 10 countries across Africa, South America, Australia, and Madagascar. These wonderful journeys of discovery changed our lives forever and increased our love for this fascinating continent. Now, after a lifetime of adventuring, it is our time to give something back to the people of Mama Africa. Yes, it's by land over, it's on foot, it's by inflatable boat. And now, in the spirit of adventure, an ancient old sailing dhow, the same design that's been used for centuries. And the sort of humanist turnabout is that it was dhows like this that uh, used to rape Africa, carrying slaves, human cargo, ivory. And now, we'll be carrying mosquito nets for mums and babies. Our African Rainbow Expedition takes us to remote areas that don't have normal health services. It's all part of our malaria distribution campaign in support of malaria prevention. One net, one life. like this, you might find that less than 2% of the people have nets. Just one life to live and so many great humanitarian journeys still to do. The geographic objective being to track the outline of Africa through 33 countries. And so we filled the calabash at the Cape of Good Hope, where in a massive act of solidarity, 347 South African Land Rovers escorted us out of Cape Town. An essential piece of luggage was a scroll of peace and goodwill in support of malaria prevention, endorsed by Nobel Peace Prize laureates Nelson Mandela and Archbishop Desmond Tutu. The humanitarian objectives were clear, malaria prevention, a teaching on the edge program and a right to sight campaign in which spectacles were distributed to poor sighted people in remote areas, so continuing to improve and save lives through this adventure.
It's like a slap to the heart when you get to a village, a mother screaming, a child dying from malaria, the family not knowing what to do, miles and miles away from any regular health services, lives that can be saved by a simple mosquito net. Whilst great inroads have been made by organizations and governments, the shocking statistic of a baby dying every 45 seconds around the clock remains. And that is why we link our expeditions to the hand-to-hand -hand distribution of life-saving nets and malaria education to pregnant mums and to mums with children under the age of five. It's all about using adventure to improve and save lives. And the next expedition, backed by Cape Union Mart, is grandly called the Great African Rift Valley Expedition. A humanitarian and geographic journey that will take us all the way from the dangerous horn of Africa down the Rift Valley to Gorongosa in Mozambique. And you can show your support for the good work attached to this expedition by purchasing a United Against Malaria beaded bracelet at any Cape Union Mart outlet. We'll keep you posted.